Growing local isn't always easy in a densely populated city like Somerville. The Community Garden Program and Urban Agricultural Initiatives are working to change that. Reporter Louise Liu looks at how these programs help residents grow healthy local food and bring the community together. 78,000 people in four square miles make Somerville the most densely populated community in New England. For many residents, the idea of having enough land to grow their own food seems impossible, but a plot in one of the city's nine community gardens can make that idea real. It's a great opportunity for residents to, who may not have a yard to be able to have a little piece to grow in and also have um, an area of safe soil and clean soil that they can grow, you know, whatever they, they would like in, uh, in a space. Any Somerville resident can apply for a garden plot, but they need to be patient. Green infrastructure planner Rachel Kelly puts applicants in contact with the garden coordinator in their neighborhood. Currently, the city has 164 plots and at least 300 people on the wait list. The average wait time is about one to three years an opportunity for people to get their hands dirty and people you know make friends through it and it's um, definitely a little tiny mini community within a community. The link between healthy food and having access to healthy food and having a healthy lifestyle and having a better quality of life you can't really separate those and certainly part of that is also building a community around those uh, shared goals and values. Durrell Community Garden was one of the first city's community gardens designed especially for those with physical disabilities, including raised beds for working the soil from a wheelchair. Um, we don't want anyone excluded or left out and not given the op same opportunity as everybody else. While the community garden program creates public spaces allowing people to grow food for their personal use, the Urban Agriculture Initiative aims at food production on a bigger scale. They're taking a traditional farm and reshaping it to a city environment. I like to plant and to be able to share that passion with anyone, whether it's my neighbor or students or whomever, I, I love to do it. Kellen works at the Innovation Farm, a hydroponics-based farm located at Edgeley School. He's using the drip system to grow primarily herbs and greens. It's all water. There's no soil. So the roots, they grow like this. They're not in the soil. So the roots drop down into the, this is called a reservoir, and then the water, which has nutrients in it, ideally organic nutrients, it drips on the roots. So it's like um, an all-you-can-eat buffet for the plant. So then the plant spends its time and energy growing up rather than growing down and looking for food. Kellen is responsible for maintaining the drip system, planting, harvesting, and monitoring plant health. He likes the idea of growing organic food inside a school and works with the science teachers to teach science, technology, engineering, and math curriculum known as STEM. The students, the young ones, they get to see how easy it is to grow plants inside and they can learn um, about the importance of, of eating fresh greens. Before the creation of Innovation Farm, the Urban Agriculture Initiative started with South Street 1, which had been a small parking lot. Groundwork Somerville approached the Somerville Redevelopment Authority to get a temporary use permit for the site. Then they found a bigger piece of land where the city stored granite curbs, which they have repurposed into creating raised beds. We really do have a very large um, garden, a real farm to grow on, so um, it's really a blessing to have these two lots. The Innovation Farm, the South Street Farm, and the Somerville's Mobile Farmers Market form the Food Production and Distribution Triangle, which refers to learn, grow, sell. The mobile market serves seniors and the low income. Produce that comes from South Street Farm as well as from the, aquapon or the hydroponics farm here um, and other gardens run by Groundwork Somerville gets brought to the market, sold to our customers, and then the proceeds from that produce get cycled back into Groundworks programming so that they can grow more produce at South Street Farm, expand South Street Farm, and continue to uh, impact youth across the city. 
As much as the city embraces open space for growing local food, the increasing population requires more development. Oliveira told SNN the city has an ambitious goal in a 30-year comprehensive plan to balance the competing needs of urban development and increased green space. The goal to increase um, the public space and the green space in the city. So it's it's a challenge to do that, and it's always a conflict in any city. Uh, but we have committed to, to keeping that in the forefront of all of our planning efforts. Reported by Louis Liu for Somerville Neighborhood News. To apply for a community garden plot, email somerville.gardens at gmail.com. If you are an enthusiastic gardener and want to share your knowledge, join the Facebook group Somerville Loves Urban Gardening.